Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. My guys, welcome back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a soft body metal, so like a damage on metal. So, let me show you what, what I mean. So, here we go. Like, as you can see, there is a nice, uh, we have nice damage on our surface. So, let me show you how you can create it. Let me just take a look from the cause. So it's really easy to do the, this in Cinema 4D. So okay, I will show you a final image which we get from here. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is what we get with this. So last time, let me show you how you can do this. So I'll just close this and create a new file. Uh, I'm creating floor. So just right click and go in simulation tab and just add a collider body. Collider body. Now create a box. Drop to floor. Okay. Just add. 15, 15, 15 uh, segments on each uh, axis don't make it uh, don't add too much segments otherwise your computer it depend on your computer power so if you have a really high power computer so you can increase it for more cool result so I'm going with 15 so then we add subdivision on this now just add a simulation tag soft body so as you can see if you hit play now so what you get here so it's gonna stay a little bit and uh, it's change the shape so <clears throat> let me there is a really simple trick to make that damage so just go click on soft body tag and go on soft body and here we go there is a main settings so just we change these one and two settings that's it you are ready to go so here we just add a uh, five hundred stiffness and elastic limit to what so as you can see here now nothing happens so we need to add a collider body or rigid body for interacting with this cube for damage so we add cube here and change the size to 2020 or you can add any object like sphere anything here we go we go on top view and just set these cube on edges like this so on this edge as anywhere you want to damage so just add it there on this edge and this edge and now go on right view just like all cubes make a little bit up oh sorry not this one like this now change the position make a random position like this one up one down a little bit up a little bit down here this one yeah. we do this because we want uh, we don't want it on same time fall on this box we want it in different 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 speed different time and a sector so here we go we go back to our main view and if we hit and uh, we just need to add a rigid body right click and uh, simulation tags at razor body so when you hit enter as you can see nothing happened there is a little damage if you see there on the corner so as you can see i will hit play again so here we go you can notice what so how we can fix it there is a simple way just going all your cube uh, dynamic tabs so just click on mask mass just add custom mass and change it to a 
one or I change it to point. If you let me show you what happened if you increase the value. So if you hit five, so as you can see, it's way heavy for our what we say for our cube. So what we can do here, we just add one three value of math. Now if we hit enter, as you can see, you get really cool looking damage soft body damage so let's add sub doing on it so <clears throat> sorry so here we go here you what you got here so now play so sub doing just make it on so swift and you know that's it it's looking really great i hope you like this video okay let's try something else here we just make some kind something bad or something like hit this uh, cube so let's see what happens we just take a capsule here make it a little bit smaller like that okay so let me show you okay So we just want it to rotate. So we just change it a little bit probably here. And and a collider tag. We don't want uh, any dynamic tag or rigid body. We just add collider body on this. So we just uh, animate it manually. So like this. Uh, we just do this. Okay. So we start from there and rotate. like that so we already animate our as you can see here so we get night nice damage here so you can add friction or a factor or attractor for not moving this uh, box so I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel if you didn't subscribe it yet thanks for watching bye bye and see you if you have any request about any tutorial any kind of tutorial related to any 3d software let me know thank you